No, oh. it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Put more salt. Oh, oh my God, it's way too much salt. <laughs> In terms of cooking, I don't really have any professional experience, but I grew up cooking a lot at home and people seem to like it. The role I'm planning to play is just a very supportive friend. I'm gonna be an assistant. I'm gonna be a cheerleader. I'm gonna be a sabotaging the competition. We don't know exactly what Adrienne's really good at, apart from the fact that she's really good at everything because she was the runner-up of a Top Chef and we're like the runner-ups at nothing. Competing against two people, that's an extra set of hands to get things, an extra person to run around the kitchen while the other one is cooking. So I was a little nervous about that. We're just hoping to make something edible. Tell us, what's the challenge today? Childhood favorite things are usually easy to make, but then we looked at each other and we were like, one second. What do we eat as a child? Yeah, right? very, very different thing. Good luck. I look forward to competing against you too. We look forward to taking you down. I look forward to getting <laughs> your ass. Five minutes to grab things starts now. I see bacon. You can't see bacon and pass it up. There were a lot of options. There were a lot of things that could have been done. For childhood favorites, I always need butter. I know when I was a kid, I loved cheese, so I'm gonna take some cheese. When I saw the sliced cheddar and white American cheese, I was like, yeah, I think this will be fun. I'm thinking heirloom tomato salad, grilled cheese incorporated somehow, and probably some kind of tomato red pepper vinaigrette. 30 minutes is maybe not enough time to do all that, but let's give this a try. We had very different childhoods. Right. We don't eat the same kinds of things. Oh, ow. So there's cream. Sriracha. I never ate sriracha. Oh, really? So I, I still, still don't eat sriracha. No. <laughs> There's so much in there, we can't decide on a dish. So we just started grabbing like everything. Just grab everything. My strategy is grab everything and then figure <laughs> out what we're gonna do later. Doesn't that make a lot of sense, guys? Oh, there's pasta. Macaroni and cheese is something I love growing up, too. Should we just make mac and cheese? We should make mac and cheese, but we gotta spice it up, though. Is there wine? Oh, it's childhood favorites. So we're thinking something fusion, mac and cheese, and soy sauce, <laughs> and I don't know. We're gonna wing it. We're, We're gonna, gonna wing it. We're gonna make it good. First thing I'm thinking before the countdown begins to start cooking, arrange my prep to take advantage of the 30 minutes that we have. Good to go? We're good. We're good. You sure? Yes! Top Chef is a reality show. How good are these chefs really? I guess we're gonna find out today, huh? Are you guys ready? We're ready to take you down. Oh yeah, yeah. bring it. Let's yeah. see about that. Okay. <laughs> Go grab salt. Nana, can you pass me the sun-dried tomatoes while you're there? Straight back on that shelf. All the way back. I promise. I actually needed something from the pantry, and she was right there, so I thought, why not ask her? Maybe she'll be nice enough to pass it to me, but no. Bam, sun-dried tomatoes. Thanks, Nana. We never help the enemy. Does not play well with Ever. others. We're good waiting for the, the thingy to boil, the water. Right, okay. Right. You can just stand there and look pretty. Well, that I can do. Do you know how to grate cheese? Kind of? <laughs> yeah, it is my first time grating cheese, actually. Um, and I think I'm doing a pretty great job at it right now. I did a professional level grating cheeser grater. I don't know. So what are you guys making? We oh. are going to make macaroni and cheese. Nice. Yeah. It's awesome. the only one that we were like, okay, we both had this as a child. What about you? You're making a... Uh... Uh, making grilled cheese and tomato soup. A version of it. Oh. oh. But like gourmet? Nah, you know, just like kids eat. Well, ours is gonna be gourmet. <laughs> oh, excuse me, playa. So right now in this pot, we're making our vinaigrette, which is gonna be our version of the tomato soup. What is a vinaigrette? I don't know. So in the pot, we have some red onion, tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, and oregano, which is kind of like our tomato soup to go with our uh, grilled cheese. Wow, this cheese. is taking forever. You have to wait for the water to boil. That's the most basic thing you need to do before you cook pasta. <laughs> have you ever made pasta? A tab. Okay, this water, it's fine. Let's just throw the mac in there. We don't have much time. But you need to wait for the water to boil before you cook pasta. Bring water to a rapid boil. Oh, a rapid boil, okay, all right. I thought it was just like a regular boil. I... <laughs> How you doing What's over there? What's up, how's it going? Got a little panko, I see. What are you doing? Are you stirring your tomato soup? I am. Tomato soup has got a little red pepper in there. Gonna make that into actually a vinaigrette. Oh, okay. 
So maybe I lied when I said it won't be too gourmet. We're just waiting for her water to boil. Look, okay, she's already almost done with the cheese sandwich. The, the tomato vinaigrette is no, like no, listen to me. Show minutes. this sandwich some respect. It's a grilled cheese. It's, grilled it's not cheese. like just a cold <laughs> cheese sandwich. Whatever. Jesus, <laughs> man. Can we steal some bacon? When I think cheese, yeah, of course. When I think cheese sandwich, I think like cold and room temperature. Back up, Nana. Back up, I'm gonna start throwing bacon at you. <laughs> I just kind of mess with her ingredients a little bit, just kicking to the side, you know, because she thought the bacon was over here, and then it moved over there, and <laughs> that over there. It's a whole strategy behind it. If she's gonna go gourmet, so we're gonna have to try to up our game, right? Make it a little more what's, gourmet. What's better than gourmet? The only thing I know that's gourmet is basil. You know, I had a lot of confidence going into this, right? Like just because the water isn't boiling, <laughs> you're losing confidence in us. I hope Nana's like actually distracting her instead of distracting me. Back up, back up, get out of here. Okay. So I figured out how she's making the vinaigrette. She's using a blender to make it happen. Yeah. Can we put the macaroni in now? Please, Inka. Okay, 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 okay. How's it? Are you done with your vinaigrette? The vinaigrette is done, son. Oh no! Don't sound scared. I'm so scared! <laughs> Are you guys so making you a roux base? Yes. Hmm, okay, she knows what she's doing. That's a pro move right there. Make sure you cook your roux enough. Nobody yeah. likes undercooked flour. Don't let me scare you. You got this. Oh yeah. Look at that butter. Ooh, yeah. You smell that? Hurry up. Okay. Go. Listen, Inka. If we lose, we're no longer be a mess. Right? Don't let the team fall apart now. The team is not falling apart. <laughs> I will make this mac and cheese. <laughs> Oh my God, what is she doing? I'm gonna go, go check it out. She's doing the thing that you, uh, you're dressing up the, um, the, the plate, the, um. The thing? Yeah, uh, plating. Plating, plating already? Please, let's go. Look, this looks, okay, it's coming to life, right? Does it or does it not look yeah, I'm not like childhood? Mm -hmm. Okay. What does the okay mean? So you put the mozzarella cheese on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What? Three, five minutes. Where's the boil function? I'm just like twisting the knobs, being like work, 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 and then that didn't work. Help! I had to run out and like ask a tasty producer nearby, like, please help me win. You got it. Thank Sweet. you so much. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Perfect kid size portion. You know, you have a plated kind of chefy version of a dish going up against mac and cheese. Mac and cheese might take it. You never know. Ta -da! I think we did pretty great. You know? I think you guys did really well. We're getting our judges up here great. to see what they think of our dishes. Great, because mac and cheese isn't good cold. <laughs>